Hello, welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50p's we're hunting through. Looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally looking to fill the book. As usual, there's a link in the description to the books I use if you want to pick one up. I do get a bit of commission for purchases made, just so you are aware. What do we need then? Not an awful lot. We're getting very, very close to being done. Of course, we need the Kew Gardens, the ultimate holy grail of UK coin hunting, something I've not found for a long, long time would make a very cool appearance if we're lucky we need olympics equestrian goal ball rowing and triathlon four olympics to go and then we are pretty much there complete up to and including the uh, coronation 50p so let's get into these bags and see what we find Okay then, first bag we shall open in real time, and I'll show you what we're looking for. So that's the shield of the Royal Arms design, uh, this became the definitive design in 2008. The key dates to look for are 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18 and 2021 for the non-circulating years, and 2017 for the low minted circulating year. Ooh, that's, that looks like the die was a little bit worn out when it struck that one, my goodness. Right, before the shield, we had Britannia as the definitive design. It's 2008, which is the key date to look for. The last circulating year is a low minted year. Obviously, anything after 2008 should not be a Britannia. But uh, ideally, we want to find some exciting commemorative coins. There we go, we've got the king. What's that going to be? It's Coronation 50p. So we have already checked because we looked at it on the obverse first. There are two versions of the Coronation 50p, the crowned and uncrowned portrait to the king. He is not wearing a crown. This is the coin that should be in circulation. The crowned version, uh, where the king is pictured wearing a crown, um, that was only available to collector sets. But uh, a cool coin to find, the most recent commemorative put into circulation, but that's all we're getting from this, the first bag. So what we're going to do now is to speed up until we find some more. That didn't take long. Roger Bannister. Now, Roger Bannister is a fairly common coin, but I'll pop these off to the side. In 2019, these 10 coins were restruck for collector sets. Roger Bannister just there. If you find any of these 10 coins, do check the uh, date on the obverse. Um, that's how you can tell if it's a restrike. So, this is dated 2004. That's an original circulating version of this coin. It is not the restrike. The restrikes are all dated 2019. If we're lucky, we keep hunting, maybe we will find one. Bit of a grubby diversity of Britain there, another very common commemorative coin. Oh, there we go, Benjamin Bunny. The most common circulated commemorative 50p out in our change, but check for the rotation error. Sadly, this one doesn't have that rotation error. That would be a very exciting coin to find for sure. Ooh, 2011. That's going to be Olympic. Ooh, it's equestrian. Was that a new one for the book? I'm so bad. There's only four left to go. I think it might be one, which would be very cool. Followed quickly by another commemorative. Peace, prosperity, and pepperonis maketh the breakfast 50p. 31st of January 2020 sets so the correct expiration date for the date the Brexit happened. So, sadly, the common version of that coin. Allegedly there are ones out there with different dates, but uh, I've not found one, but it's worth a couple of seconds it takes to check, just in case you come across one.
And there's the king once again. Another Coronation 50B is uncrowned, we saw that already. There we go. 2017's Taylor Peter Rabbit, and there's a friend for Benjamin Bunny. As we know, all the 2017 Beatrix Potters are very, very highly minted, though. And there's Dictionary. Another very, very common coin. Oh, there's the king again. He wasn't crowned, was he? Nope, but it is another Coronation 50p. Oh, where are my coronation? Oh, there they are. We need to put them down there because we haven't actually had final mintages come out for that coin. So we don't know officially how many were minted, although it's expected to be 5 million. Apologies about that, my camera battery died. It wasn't low on battery, but uh, there we go. Joys of technology, right? There's another Roger Bannister. Could this be the restrike we're looking for? It's a bit grubby, so I guess not, but no. Sadly, not in this case. We'll keep hunting for one of those restrike coins. Oh, 2016's Peter Rabbit. A little bit grubby, but in good condition. It's worth a smidge over face value. Very nice. Ooh, wait a minute. 
That'll be something different. Gibraltarian 2017. Is that the um, referendum? It is. Stunning coin. So your coins from Gibraltar, like the Isle of Man, Jersey, Guernsey, Falkland Islands, shouldn't be in our mainland UK change, but are always welcome finds and tend to be at least a smidge of a face value because they're not a humongous amount of them made. Oh, Platinum Jubilee there. Much like the Coronation 50p, there are two versions of this coin. One with Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen on the head side, or obverse. And uh, one with John Bergdahl's equine portrait of the Queen. So you can see, she's not riding a horse. That is just a very, very shiny um, Platinum Jubilee 50p. Which is a quite common coin. Oh, Christopher Ironside there. So I keep all of my Christopher Ironsides, as long as Emma's not stolen them. Uh, who is someone who I've been told is keeping Chris Fryan sides purely so I can't have them all, but uh, you never know. They could uh, I, I, they could disappear and make their way into my collection, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, there's a Diversity for Britain as well. Just to end that bag off. And there's Screw and Nutkin. Again, uh, smidge over face value, not enormously so. You won't be able to retire having found and sold one of those. And there's uh, Pride. Another recent addition to circulation, although it was put in circulation in 2022, so I guess. Uh, in terms of years, not all that more, well, not all that recent. Oh, there's our first Paddington right at the end of the video. We've got one more bag to go at the end of this, but we have found Paddington at the Tower of London. Well then, last bag of the hunt. We've got a couple of very nice coins, it has to be said. Potentially one that's new for the book, but uh, my bad brain can't recall exactly what coins they were. Now, as usual, you'll find links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you'd like to come over and join that. There's Crazy Eyes Tom Kitten himself there. Another 2017 bitch Potter. We're just Jeremy Fisher short. Do we think we can finish the 2017 set in this handful? Maybe. Anyway, also in the description, you'll find links to my other social media channels. Uh, the P.O. Box address if you want to write in to me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, the company I work for is my day job, so please do check them out as well. Right, no Jeremy Fisher unfortunately, but I will whiz through the coins off to the side now, see if there's any key dates I may have missed. Okay then, a few key dates, we have three 2008 Britannias there. Which are always welcome finds. Super stuff. No 2017 shields, strangely. But one of these weird 2019 50ps that just sound weird and tinny. I don't think there's any value to those, but I just keep them aside because <laughs> I've got issues, obviously. I thought it might have been, and it is. Olympic Equestrian finishes this Olympic page, which is uh, very, very exciting. Three Olympics to go. Rowing, triathlon, goal ball? There we go, I can remember. Okay then, pressure's on to the next time. See if I can remember what they are. So, star finds, of course. New coin for the book is a star find. The referendum 50p is a cool coin. Do I, how can I pick a favorite? Of course I can, I've got a massive Olympic bias. Of course I'm gonna pick Equestrian, but uh, if you agree or you disagree, let me know in the comments what you'd pick as the star find from today's video. All it leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.